All right, let's get you back to education now. Dependent on where you live, you found out yesterday when your kids are going back to the classroom. And it was what a lot of parents and students, educators, they were all waiting for. And as you heard, Toronto, Peel and York, again, not going back till the 16th. But let's get uh, a Torontonian's take on this. What Mayor John Tory joining us live now uh, with reaction to the announcement. Uh, Mayor Tory, good morning to you. Good morning, Mel. So I, I know uh, as soon as the announcement wrapped up, and you have always actually been uh, in support of what public health has recommended, how confident are you feeling with that February 16th return, and what have you heard when it comes to safety? Well, I'm confident, and I think I'm confident uh, in part because of the measures that Toronto Public Health is taking in conjunction with the province and with the school board to make sure the schools open safely, which has been the main objective that we've always had. You know, the kids badly need to be in school. It is better for them in terms of their mental health, uh, their development, their socialization with other kids. Uh, I think a lot of parents are at their wits' end with some of the virtual uh, learning, and I think a lot of the kids, frankly, uh, I'm not sure they know they're at their wits' end, but I think they're frustrated by it. I, I hear that from my uh, own uh, grand children and my children talking about them and how they react to the virtual learning. And so we've got 200 people at Toronto Public Health, uh, many of them nurses and others who are helping to do the screening and the testing and to take additional measures to make sure the staff are kept safe and, and uh, uh, things like that that are going to, uh, I think, you know, do everything we possibly can to make sure the, the schools open safely. So I'm optimistic they will. I think it's the right thing to do. I support uh, Premier Ford and Education Minister Stephen Lecce in taking this step. Uh, and, uh, you know, we can do the schools first and do it right, and then we'll see where we go from there. Okay, that was my next question, where we go from there, and that is a lot of uh, businesses are asking, is there a date? Is there a date in mind and when we could possibly reopen uh, at a gradual basis, on, on a phased-out basis, or phased-in, I should say? Uh, is there any update on those conversations? Well, the conversations have been taking place, and the kind of planning that I talked about uh, a couple of weeks ago, saying we had to have a plan to do this, uh, is, is uh, that those discussions are happening. And I think you used the right expression, and I hope people understand this, that just like was the case in the spring, and, and it makes common sense, you are not going to suddenly sort of throw the doors open and say everything's open as of this moment. And so I think people should expect that when uh, the opening, reopening starts to take place, it will start to take place on a given date. It may well take place in different parts of the province, uh, you know, at different times. But again, the objective here is uh, having gone through all the sacrifice that especially business, but also people have gone through the last uh, month and, and so, uh, the objective is not to slide backwards. And, and let's also remember that while the numbers are better uh, than they were, say, in December, they are still nowhere near as, as good as they were uh, at the end of last summer, you know, in, in August or September. So like the daily case, case counts and things like that. So um, I think that everybody's going to be responsible about this. You can't be buffeted by, I'll call it the winds of politics. You have to make decisions based on the facts and based on the evidence and based on as, uh, what makes sense in the context of a gradual uh, sort of reopening that will allow people to, yes, to get back in business because they've made a terrible sacrifice, but to do it in a careful way. Uh, Mayor Tory, just coming off of uh, two days of city council meetings and a lot discussed here, and I want to get into uh, when we look at the communities and those who are mostly impacted by COVID-19, I believe the stat was 26% of the black community, disproportionately indeed, of the total case count here in Toronto. So can you talk a little bit more about this program that is being launched with the city of Toronto and the initiatives here and how we can combat this? This is something that people should be very proud of in our city, that we are taking a fact, which is that 26% of the cases uh, have been uh, experienced by 9% of the population, namely black Torontonians, and we are devoting special supports in terms of uh, testing and food security programs. And uh, another key area is vaccine hesitancy. There's a hesitancy on the part of people in the black community, and it's not limited to that, but it certainly felt very strongly there, about getting vaccinated. And so we've uh, convened, for example, a table of black scientists who are going to themselves hold uh, town hall meetings within the black community to uh, inform people and to reassure them that getting a vaccination is the right thing to do, that uh, the, the reasons for their hesitancy can be overcome. And so uh, those are the kinds of things we're doing to make sure that we target uh, the support and the help uh, where it's needed most to uh, help a community that has been affected the most, uh, more so than many other communities of, of people based on their skin color or their gender or their, uh, their, their personal situation. So I think it's a program Toronto can be proud of uh, and we're moving forward with it. And a lot of it is just activating community organizations and supporting them to in turn get people to get tested and to get vaccinated and to uh, you know, engage in behavior that will limit uh, the spread of COVID. All right, we've run out of time, Mayor Tory. I, really quickly, as we go to Devo Brown here for sports, did you watch the game, Fred Van Vliet? 
I, I no, I didn't. Unfortunately, didn't. Uh, sometimes I can. I sometimes I can't. I mean, the fifty-four point game. Oh, no big deal. Yeah. Oh no, no, it's no, no, it's just run of the mill. It's just another <laughs> night at the office for him. Right. But uh, no, look, we've always known he had that potential, and he, he says in the news today that he knew he had that potential too. So you got to have that kind of self confidence to put on that sort of performance. Yeah, I you got it. it. There you go, Mayor Tory, appreciate it. And Devo Brown says, "I Thanks. love it. I, I love, love it." it. <laughs> exactly. Right. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you again next week. Appreciate it. The time. Thank you so much. Bye. Very complete sentences. By the way. Very complete answers. Very, very, very complete, complete answers. I love it. I love it, Mayor. We'll be back with story time next week. Oh, we got we got something brewing. All right, Devo, what's going on? Well,